Hi, this is Mike. I was just calling to see if that job that you offered was still available. Yes. The security guard. I will take anything. It was huge in the 80s with the kids. They shut it down years ago. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet. All you have to do is keep your eyes on the monitor. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, where fantasy and fun come to life. Hit it, guys. If you are watching this video, it means you've been selected as Freddy's newest security guard. Hello? We're going to have so much fun together. My name is Michael Morley, and I am here to review Five Nights at Freddy's, based on the hit video game, directed by Emma Temme, starring Josh Hutchinson, Elizabeth Lale, Matthew Lillard, Piper Rudio, and Mary Stuart Masterson. This movie is centered around a security guard starring Josh Hutchinson, who loses his job through a misunderstanding. He goes to a... Job advisor, played by Matthew Lillard, who basically offers him a job to go into this dead-end building that has been closed for years, that the business owner will not let go of and won't let it die. All he has to do is go in the building, look after the place, watch the monitors, and not let anyone in or out. Yeah, this movie, you either like it, or you don't. I reckon th th there's two there's two sides to this. There are the people who like this movie, and then there are going to be the people that hate this movie. I feel like this movie is 50-50. If you are a person who truly loves the game, and you love the source material, you may be disappointed that they don't truly follow the game. But if you're a person who's not a big fan of the game, you don't really know much about the game, and you just watch this for what it is, you may actually really like this movie because it does its own thing. It's a story about an older brother and a younger sister who are literally need to turn the lights on. He literally needs to put ends meet on the table because they literally have nothing and he needs this job to survive. That's the beautiful thing about this story is the family motivation in this. This is this is what makes the movie work in my opinion. And there's a, there's a story but with Josh Hutchison that, that, that happened in the past that has a very big impact throughout the movie. And I found this to be pretty good. I, I really liked it. I didn't think it was great. I didn't think it was fantastic. But I thought it was good. It, it was a good movie for what it was. And it was definitely one of the better video game movie adaptations I've seen. And I've seen some pretty good ones this year. Gran Turismo was one of them, and The Last of Us was another one that was really good. So this is kind of a step up for video game adaptations for this year in 2023. But I would say that Emma Temi does a pretty good job with story and everything. I, I honestly thought that there would be more humour in this. I thought this would be a lot funnier. But that's just me think having these expectations. Because watching the trailer, maybe I should stop watching trailers, but the trailer definitely had a lot of funny elements in it. And it only, all the stuff that you see in the trailers that are funny, that's all the comedy elements in the film. And I was hoping there would be more. But it is what it is. I, I found it the animatronics of the of the look of you know Freddy and all the other animatronic rabbits and foxes. I found them to be truly look. They they were really loyal to the source material of the game when it comes to how they look. That looked incredible. Did I think the movie was scary? Man, my, look, I, I, it's very hard to scare someone like me. I'm so desanitized from all the shit of all the horror movies I've watched. I found this movie just to be cute. This is a cute little movie uh, of horrors. There's really not much blood. There's no guts or anything like that. It's pretty tame. So I, I, I actually think a, a, a kid like that's 10 could probably watch this without much of a worry. A 7 out of 10. In the 80s, kids went missing. 
The police searched Freddy's top to bottom. Hello? They never found them. That's why the place shut down. There are ghost children possessing giant robots. Thanks for the heads up. Technically, they're animatronics. What do they want? They want to make her like them. Bobby! Tell me how to stop them. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> Bobby, go! <laughs> Where to? Why do I always get the weirdos?